We've all had those nights where you stay up a tad too late, scroll a few too many TikToks, don't drink enough water and fever dream man invades into your safe space. I had one of those recently. I dreamt I was stuck in this dilapidated old house and there was this old lady who didn't exactly look like she wanted to bake me cookies. Turns out she was taking care of some forgotten spirits. In my dream there was this waiting room once you pass into the afterlife where you stay for a bit before your eternal fate is decided. However, these poor souls were forgotten in the waiting room and that creepy old lady happens to be taking care of them. Now here's where it gets crazy. I don't know why, but for some reason I was volunteering in this home and the residents are far worse to deal with than an old age home for rich people. Oh, there's no illegal drugs property. in my garage. Oh, yes there yeah. is, and there's evidence of it. Hello what? there. Woo -woo. When you don't tend to these spirits' needs in time, they get a little quirky. Sounds familiar? Is it Freddy Fazbear? Oh, 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 oh. Each of the spirits in this house had their own unique need and I had to stumble around trying to keep them all happy so they don't tear my face off. But it gets worse. The old lady who's supposed to be taking care of them, or as she's called, the mother, is so old that she can't make it down the stairs without breaking some much needed bones. When I finally woke up, I lay still for a couple of seconds to process what I just experienced. Perhaps it was my mind signaling something deeper in my life that I need to work through? Nah, let's turn it into a game. I booted up Unity and spent the weekend building and furnishing the house itself. I was pretty happy with the progress and then... John decides to line his pockets once more, making me not want to use Unity. So I did nothing for a couple of days and then... Unity says, whoopsies, we did a bad and proceeded to retract their policy and make the free plan even more generous. So I booted up Unity and got back to work. One of the important features in games like Five Nights at Freddy's is that it takes place in a compact space, so everything is just a mouse flick away. But when there's a 3D space that you can navigate, it means that most of the map is not visible at any given time. The solution? Sound cues to alert the player. However, it is kind of difficult to hear how far away something is, so I wrote this audio occlusion script. In short, it's just make me sound smart language for something that checks if the object making the noise is in sight. Or if there's a wall, it simply muffles the sound by cutting off the higher frequencies. Now let's make some of the entities. I don't want to spoil them all in this video, so I'll tell you about the mother and one of the five entities. The mother roams the house looking for chores to do, but being in the dark upsets her a lot. She's also a bit of a loony, so she forgets to turn on the lights herself. Therefore, it's your responsibility to make sure that she's not in the dark for too long. But I can just turn on all the lights, you say. Well, not so easy. You see, the house is old and run down, so to avoid overloading the distribution board, you can only have a handful of lights on at a time. This means running around and turning lights on and off as needed. Of course, the game wouldn't be complete without adding some entities. The first one is called the Shadow Startled. He's on the rowdy side, so the mother has taken the liberty to lock him in the basement. However, as it turns out, he's not very fond of the dark either. The basement light also happens to turn off randomly due to the aging infrastructure, and when that happens, the shadow startled will look to force his way out of the basement. If I were you, I'd rather make sure that light stays on. Since most of the lights have to be off at any given time, I've also made sure that it's possible to navigate the dark. The player is equipped with a lighter, but it has limited fuel so it's probably best to not leave it on.
I currently have four other entities already planned out and one of them is pretty much done, but you'll have to wait to see those. I also spent some time to set up a Steam store page. You're probably wondering why so early though. Well, I've recently learned why my games have been failing, aside from the fact that they're bad. You see, since Greenlight was removed, Steam revamped their algorithm, credit to Chris Zukowski for this information. They essentially added this angry dude who tramples shovelware into the dirt, though he seems to be on leave every now and then. The bottom 30% of games on Steam garner little to no traction, and the top 70% of games actually end up selling more than they used to before. The problem is that even if your game is decently okay, Steam will automatically assume it's shovelware if it has little to no wishlists. So in order to break out of the graveyard shift, games need around 7000 wishlists before launching in order for the algorithm to favor it. So if taking care of a demented old lady sounds like fun to you, please consider wishlisting the game. Links in the description. Okay, thanks, bye.